Hey beautiful one, I just wanted to make this really short video for you just to talk about creating a sacred altar space. And so there's a couple of things that perhaps the word altar conjures for you. And at first I just invite you to sit with that. An altar is, for me, a place where I come to sit to expand into my faith. My faith in this being a very human experience of a spiritual journey, my faith in my expansion into the truth of who I am. And so my altar space has been created intentionally by me on purpose with different vibrations, energies, frequencies, and matter to allow the ease with which to drop into the sacredness of my being, where I can more easily move from the doing, the overdoing, the overwhelm, and it's just like, whew, here I am right now. So you could have your altar space as a dedicated space in your home. You could have your altar carried around with you in a small pouch. Altars mean different things to different people, but for me, it's the sacredness, the choice of the objects that I have chosen to surround myself with, the meaning that they have for me that allows me to really anchor in I am here now I am present and I have these helpers <laughs> these energetic helpers that allow that portal of open access to you know be there more easily I hope that that makes sense let me know in the comments and so I love to activate myself through all of my senses as you know I have this deep fascination with the nervous system and I know that when my nervous system feels really safe my ability to open and expand and allow and trust and surrender and unfurl and drop protection and defensiveness and or overprotection is so much more available. And so I like to connect with a lot of the tools that I use in my journeys with clients as well. Um, but I use them for myself. I walk the talk with everything that I do. And so I might like to use my chimes it depends on the place and space that i'm in whether i'm in my dedicated space at home or whether this is an altar i'm carrying with me it might be just the simple sounds of a small tibetan bowl i have much bigger ones i have crystal ones depends what is available for you in your space i created this myself to use with sage palo santo to really cleanse clear my space I use incense sticks. It really depends what I'm being called forth on the day. I'm just dropping in ideas for you. I have collected parts of nature, you know, stones, rocks, um, different aspects of her that I find very revealing, very comforting, very nurturing, very nourishing, very beautiful that I love to gaze upon. Um, I've collected some little fairies with keys in them because I love wishes. I love miracles. I love being reminded of that. Uh, same, I have a dried four-leaf clover. I, I don't know how much you know about me, but I definitely do love finding and collecting four-leaf clovers. It's something that I found very easy in my life and very enjoyable. And looking upon these four-leaf clovers, looking upon these little fairies, immediately brings that ease of connection with my inner child, that sense of joy, wonder, curiosity, openness. I also have pictures of of my inner child, my, my little Pia at different ages so that I can much more readily connect with her and all of the aspects of her that were my truth before I started modifying it more deeply to adult. <laughs> um, I also bring in crystals. I have so many different crystals and different crystals at different times and days mean different things to me and I really listen to the messages of the crystals. Sometimes I place them on my body. Sometimes they're around me. Sometimes I'm creating mandala patterns with the crystals or the um, objects that I've brought in from Mother Earth. You also might like to have different deities. You know, I've got so many. I've got Kuan Yin. I've got um, Egyptian gods and goddesses. I've got Buddha symbols. I also have uh, a couple of beautiful little books that were gifted to me from other people that have amazing quotes and I'm just going to read this one because I've just opened it for know this what emanates from you returns to you if it is love love must return if it is anger anger will return for that is the power of your thoughts and this is part of the reason why altar spaces can be so sacred
I also like to activate through my sense of smell. So this is a chakra spray. This is number five. This is throat expression. So I might miss, I've got all of the different chakra sprays. Um, and this is a chakra oil that I like to use. I have lots of different essential oils. I like to turn on, I currently have a diffuser just sitting over there. I have a diffuser that's releasing essential oils into the air. All of my all of my candles are unfragranced. I often find that people use synthetic fragrances in candles and it just doesn't work with my nervous system and so all of my candles are unfragranced. Um, you also, I like, this is a, a bell from a farm that I spent time on, um, which I love and when I'm really tuning into that connection to nature or again it potentially might be my inner child if I ring that bell, if I'm just gazing upon it, I do find it really easy to open and expand and that's the altar space gift it is that ease in which we can align ourselves to the sacredness of the objects that we have surrounded ourselves with to the forms to the textures to the smells to all of the different delights um cards that were written to me from people that are very special to my heart with words that really mean a lot to me and so your altar space is unique to you your altar space could be very small in comparison to what? It's not about making comparisons. Your altar space could be perfect for your heart if you tune into your heart and allow the prayer of your own heart and that connection between mind, heart, gut, and womb or energetic womb to create the space for you lovingly with purpose, with intention. I'm going to do another little video about intentions and affirmations that I think you'll also find incredibly interesting. Um, and it was absolutely my pleasure to share some of the tools that I use to create my altar space. I'd love to hear from you or feel free to send me a pic in any of my social media DMs to show me or tag me in your altar creation. I would love that and I'll share that on my pages. It is a real true gift to self and a real acknowledgement of the source creator that you yourself are. And when you bow your head at your own divinity, you can truly begin to more clearly understand and know that you are the co-creator of your own reality. And it is when you are in that full alignment to your source, to the data and the information and the quantum universe that you yourself are, that it becomes so much easier to manifest because you are at that right frequency you are at that right vibration for the energy to move you towards and to pull in like the magnet that you are. You are a magnetic, amazing being and it is my honor to be here on this journey with you. Thank you.